Good morning, good morning. How y'all doing? Hope everybody can hear me. Hope everybody's having a good morning. Um, it's the start of a new week. Just wanted to talk, get on here and talk about uh, our youth, our young youth, our adult youth. I hope that we are yet praying for them. I hope that they have mentors that they can look up to. I hope that they have a community that is investing in them, in their lives, um, in their time. I hope that they have people that are around them, that are uplifting them, that are helping them to make vision boards or have goals that they want to set or need to set. I hope that our youth have people in their lives that are instructing them or guiding them down the right road, helping them to make the right decisions. I'm so proud of all the ones that I have seen uh, graduate this year, come out this year, those that are still standing strong. Uh, my hat goes off to you. I'm yet asking that we be on one accord, that we keep each other's children in prayer, that we keep their names before the Lord, uh, whether you're on the north, the south, the east, or the west, whoever you are, if you know kids by name, if you don't, whether it's kids in your family. But please, let's keep our youth and our adult youth in prayer. Let's keep their names before the Lord because they, as we've been told so many times, they are our future, so let's invest in them. I don't know uh, what community you're in, but I hope that the, each community is looking out for our youth and our adult youth. I hope that we are telling them that God loves them, we love them, that they are something, someone, that they can be whatever they want to be, um, I hope that we're teaching them how to build or have a relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, letting them know that without God, we can obtain nothing, but with him, all things are possible. I hope that we're letting them know that to have a, well, that is one of the best things we can do is have a strong relationship with Jesus Christ. He loves us unconditionally. He loves us in our good, our bad but even to help us get back right. He loves us when we mess up. He loves us when we're uh, still trying to do our best to walk that straight and narrow. But please keep our youth and our adult youth in your prayers. Please keep them surrounded in love and compassion. Please be the one that will offer a helping hand or be a mentor to them or lead, keep them going on the right road, whatever it may be, however you can impact their life, however you can be a blessing to them, do it because we need our young people and our adult youth to survive. We need them. We need uh, people to be praying that they guard their eye gates, their ear gates and their heart gates and not let anything in. I know sometimes things are going to still get in, may happen. But if we keep them in prayer, if we keep them covered under the blood, they will become everything that God has ordained and purpose for them to be in this world, for this world, because they are a set generation. They were called out. Um, we are a peculiar people, but please pray for one another's children. I'll pray for your children as you pray for mine. Uh, pray for those children in your communities, whether you know them or not. Pray for them. Whether you see them walking down the street at a bus stop or just outside playing, pray that they are yet covered. No harm, no danger, no foul come to them. Keep their names before the Lord. If you don't know their name, just say every child that's in my community, every child that is in my family, all my co-workers, children, whoever it may be, wherever they may be. But at this time, please remember that our youth and our adult youth are very important at this time. We are too, but right now they are the main focus. So let's keep them in prayer. Um, again, we are each have a community. So let's keep our community before the Lord. Let's be that strong support system. I pray that you all have a blessed, phenomenal day. I pray that God continue to smile upon you. I pray that he continue to open up doors that we all need open. But I yet pray that we really earnestly be praying for one another and for our youth and our adult youth. Genuine love, genuine harmony, genuine unity. That is what moves God. So if you're out there and you know a child or you have a child, keep them in prayer. Keep their name before the Lord. All right. 
I'm asking you all to do this as I do it myself. Again, stay focused, stay encouraged, be blessed. Have a great day. This is Kamitha J.